Good afternoon and welcome to the latest edition of the Marry with Children documentary, The Ladies of Marry with Children. As we look back on the, the numerous, se numerous uh, seasons of Marry with Children, 11 in total, and we look back at the actresses who have played a role, a guest starring role in Marry with Children. For this week's episode, we go to season 10. Uh, the episode was called Spring Break uh, Part 2. The actress in question was Marie Calder, and she played the role of the one and only Miss New York, uh, Claudia, in the Spring Break uh, pageant. And uh, I suppose, Marie, in terms of Married with Children, um, the Spring Break, the double episodes of the Spring Break, probably one of the most iconic episodes of Married with Children, probably one of the most popular episodes of Married with Children throughout uh, the 11 seasons, uh, the, the double episode at the the start of uh, season uh, 10. Uh, so in terms of uh, that, just um, is the episode has been seen numerous times all across America and all across the world. Uh, do you still get people, family, loved ones uh, see it now, even to this day on TV screens and remind you of that sort of episode? <laughs> uh, sometimes, uh, once in a while. Um, mm. Not a lot, but once in a while, I do get a, a phone call. I saw you <laughs> yeah, a long time ago. <laughs> it was a, it was a long time ago. And I suppose that uh, Marie, uh, it was such an iconic sort of an episode, really, a uh, really humorous sort of episode as well. Uh, mm -hmm. Great punchlines, a fantastic story. And uh, in terms of the shooting for the, the location, it's shot in a what looks like to be an outside beach. Was that sort of done in California in in terms of Los Angeles, one of the, the beaches out there? Or where did the actual shooting of that actual episode uh, take place? Well, on the episode that I was in, and that was Spring Break Part 2, um, it was not a beach. It was in okay. the studio. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And uh, they did a really great job making it look like the beach because... It did look it, like a beach now. <laughs> thought it was a beach yeah yeah yeah, yeah absolutely yeah. no everything was a set it was all and there was a studio audience right there mm -hmm. okay and uh, Marie how did that opportunity come about for you to get cast in uh, Marry with Children as uh, Claudia had you tried out uh, times in the past for various sort of roles within the sitcom or was this uh, your first time uh, trying out for it were you recommended by a talent agent and uh, how hard of a geek was it uh, to get um, in terms of some of the, the an awful lot of high quality models and actresses appeared on that episode well I had uh, watched Married with, with Children for a while and I always thought it was a really interesting show like it was it was so different from any other sitcom out there. And I did think in my mind that would be really interesting to get on it. And uh, the one and only audition I had was Claudia. Okay. Um, New York. And um, I got it. And so I was thrilled because I, I really didn't think I would ever get on that show. <laughs> I don't know why. I just, uh, I did I did do comedies, but this one was... You know, I just didn't think about it. So when I had the opportunity to audition, I was thrilled. I was absolutely thrilled. And I suppose that remember me from TV. I used to play Theo on the Cosby show. I love you. I used to kiss the TV whenever you came on. <laughs> oh, Theo. I need to talk to you alone right now. Not now, Al. I'm with my number one fan. <laughs> this involves 100,000 bucks. Bye-bye. <laughs> Miss New York, Claudia Harrison. <laughs> Miss Atlanta, Scarlett Turner. <laughs> Miss Detroit, Marla Strong. <laughs> Miss Beverly Hills, Angela Cohen. Well, she's got my vote. <laughs> Sorry, Al. It was a moment of weakness. Uh, how much for a lap dance? Hey! Al! 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 And 
And our final contestant, Miss Chicago, Kelly Bundy. Kelly Bundy! Go, Kelly! Go, Kelly! All right! Let's begin with the talent competition. Uh, in terms of uh, the episode as such, you play uh, Miss New York, and uh, in terms of uh, Al and Griff and Jefferson being the sort of uh, three uh, contestants, and uh, obviously Kelly plays Miss Chicago, and uh, there's Miss Beverly Hills there as well, and I think Tanya Watts uh, plays another uh, one of the other sort of states as well. I think it's Miss Georgia, if memory serves me. Uh, uh, correct, uh, but in terms of uh, that sort of uh, shooting of that episode, in terms of when you arrived on set, were you very much aware that you were going to be in a swimsuit uh, element type of a, a competition in terms of the wardrobe and costume? And was that a bit daunting at the time being a young actress? Well, um, the audition, I wore a dress. Um, okay. I do believe they told us we would be in a swimsuit and if we had a problem with that. I think right out the gates, they, they found out how you felt about that. And at the time, I was doing a lot of stuff in bathing suits anyway. So I was pretty comfortable uh, doing a bathing suit uh, scene. Do, and, and there were so many other girls in this particular uh, show at the time in bathing suits. So you felt really comfortable because you were one of the gang. You know, everybody had a swimsuit on. So... And uh, Marie, in terms of the episode, uh, when you arrived in set, I suppose a big episode, one of probably your first gigs in the industry in Holland, Hollywood, I mean, uh, in terms of arriving on the set, what was that experience like for the first time? Uh, were you introduced to Ed O'Neill and Katie Segal and Christine Applegate? Did they have a few words of a voice in your ear as a young actress? Uh, and were you, uh, feel, were you made feel at ease from the beginning you walked onto the show? Well, uh, when I got on the show, you, we didn't really get a chance to speak to anybody because right away it's a very busy set. You're immediately in uh, wardrobe and makeup and hair, and you you may pass them, but uh, you kind of didn't want to bother them or anything because they're concentrating on their own work and everything. Um, but it was a, a very it was really fun because there were so many people, and that it creates such an energy when all these different people are there doing their their different, you know, parts and everything. Um, and when I was working with Christina, she was right there, and uh, Ed and Harold and Ted, uh, they were all really nice. They couldn't have been kinder and nicer. I mean, it was a busy set that day. So everything yeah, and- was brief, you know, it was a brief like, hi, how are you, you know, things like that. And uh, Marie, you mentioned there in terms of numerous, I uh, guess, actresses uh, appeared on that episode as well beside you. And uh, in terms of uh, when you arrived on, on uh, set, in terms of getting ready, had you were you given the VIP treatment in, ser- in terms of a five star treatment? Did you get your own uh, dressing room? Uh, did you get your own sort of uh, uh, choice of uh, outfits in terms of the bathing suits? Obviously, he had different uh, types of bathing suits. And in terms of makeup, in terms of wardrobe, in terms of food for the whole day were you well taken care of oh well yes as far as all that's concerned and actually on it's a 22 minute show i believe and yep. right out the gates you're busy you you do, there if there was a dressing room i can't remember there probably yep. was but you're you're moving so quickly because once you get into all the different hair makeup uh it, they put on a different a couple of different bathing suits just to make sure it's right for you and everything boy, you're just working right away. So, but everything was, I mean, yeah, everybody's really friendly and they took care of us. They always, you know, I mean, not always, but they, them in particular were pretty cool. And I suppose, uh, Marie, in terms of uh, one of the, the scenes, uh, you're, you're performing your uh, special act and you're sort of dancing and uh, Heidi uh, Mark sort of character uh, gets out uh, some sort of, uh, marbles or something and 
throws him on the floor and you fall in uh, your backside. I suppose imagining that sort of a, a fall for you was it sort of rehearsed in terms of how you would fall or was it one or two sort of takes or did you just tell you just to fall in your backside and uh, we'll just shoot it uh, there? Well, that's interesting uh, because the, the way it was done, you didn't fall, you didn't have to fall because okay. uh, they shot you dancing. And then they shot you on the ground as if you okay. had. Fallen. So I was relieved about that because I did think about. I thought, how am I going to fall? <laughs> okay. well, you probably saw it written in the script in terms of the character taking yeah, the fall. fall. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you don't. You, yeah. You don't really know if you're going to be falling on a mattress or something like that. But I didn't really fall. So. And I suppose um, in terms of that episode as well, you're going through the various uh, stages of uh, the competition. You're seeing the various uh, actresses doing their gigs and uh, dummies catching fire and uh, girls uh, sneezing uh, on the sort of guest judges. Uh, you're probably uh, just behind the camera when that's sort of being shot in terms of your other, the other actresses. I think it's Renee Tennyson and uh, Tanya Watts were the other two actresses in question. Was it very hard to keep a sort of a straight face when you were looking on at that, so I had you to try and hold yourself from uh, giggling once or twice. Well, I'll tell you the the part where I almost lost it was when I was with um, Harold, and mm. I hugged him. He was the guy that I thought he was some big actor, right? Okay. And in the earlier part of the show, we when we first Wesley did Snipes, it, I think you thought he was Wesley Snipes. Yes, yes, yes. That's right. And uh, thanks for that, my memory. Uh, so what happened there was we did, we rehearsed it one time and he pushed me away. And then when we did the scene, cause I'm hugging him tight, yeah. he literally took his belly and bounced me off of him. And okay. I just kind of went boop. And <laughs> he's a big uh, man, Sylvester. He's, yeah, he was, you, you could see it in the show. And I was holding on with everything to not burst out laughing because I love phys physical comedy. Mm -hmm. So that was the part where I almost just couldn't handle it. And, and I was glad we, j I think we just did one take or maybe two. And each time I was just like, oh, don't laugh, don't laugh. Because, you know, it was, it was really funny for me. <laughs> and I suppose, Marie, in terms of uh, your character, uh, Claudia, as well, Miss New York, do you remember when it aired? I suppose it aired on, I'm just looking for the air, air date here. Uh, yeah, it aired there in the late, early 90s um, in terms of, uh, do you remember where you were on the occasion when it aired across the USA in terms of prime TV? Were you at home recording? Do you remember family or loved ones or were well, you with them or what's your sort of memories when you saw it for the very first time? Yeah, well, when I, I was, I was in Los Angeles um, mm -hmm. and I did see it air on television. So it was a thrill. Uh, my family wasn't around me because they are back east yeah. at the time. But uh, I, I believe they saw it too, and I did see it. So it was quite thrilling. It was fun. And I imagine the phone was hopping off the, off the, off the wall the following day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. suppose, uh, Marie, in terms of being on Marry With Children, a show, as we mentioned, more than 30, 30 years ago now, in terms of uh, when it was aired on TV, to see that it's still being aired all over the world and dubbed in so many different languages, uh, loved in Germany for a particular, a massive audience uh, there, still run, running two times a day, I believe, in most uh, German stations, uh, dubbed in French, Spanish, shown across South America shown in Ireland in the UK and a uh, new audience, uh, new people born, new generation and they're seeing you and Mary with children for the very first time. Does it still give you a sort of a buzz to think that be that, that show you're on has travelled the world and uh, it's been seen in so many countries in terms of uh, your uh, appearance and your acting as well in terms of others, other sitcoms or other things you might have been on might have been only US bound but your episode of Married with Children has definitely travelled all the world. Does that make you feel a great sense of achievement or a great sense of, of morale boost? Oh, well, yeah. I, I mean, it's so, it, it's so really exciting and cool that the whole world 
sees these shows, you know, it's just amazing. Um, and that they're so popular, you know, and they live on, it just keeps living on and on and on. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a great thrill. And I'm really proud of it. And I'm happy that I, I got a chance to be on that show. And I suppose that uh, Marie, in terms of Married with Children, you're probably one of the fraternity of actresses that have appeared in the 11th uh, seasons. Uh, it's an elite list when you look down through it. You have everyone from Tiffany Thiessen to Denise Richards, uh, to Pamela Anderson, to Chris Allen, uh, Shana Wall, uh, just uh, Rhonda Shears, uh, just to throwing out names uh, of people that have appeared uh, throughout the the decade, the decade or so or more of uh, Married with Children. How delighted are you to be in that sort of elite list of names that uh, got your break in terms of Married with Children? And uh, it's a, a, a elite uh, group of actresses who have gone on to major things in terms of Hollywood. Does that give you a great sense of pride that uh, you can you can say that you're part of that fraternity? Oh yes, absolutely. I mean, how could it not? You know. And when you when you think about as time has gone by, you think about when when you're in that when you're working and you're on the show and you're doing your thing, you really don't realize uh, that this is such an iconic, amazing part of your life. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it it it's just it is it's a, it's a thrill and that all those other people were doing it too they were on the show too you know you were part of the gang you're part <laughs> of the gang as such uh, Marie and uh, Marie I suppose lastly uh, let's pretend there was a married with children encyclopedia a dictionary a sort of such and they put your character uh, let's say Claudia Miss New York into the married with children encyclopedia and they left two blank sentences underneath. And they, well, your talent agent got on to you and said, listen, they're looking for two sentences to summarize your character, Claudia, for the Married with Children Encyclopedia Dictionary. They want you to write them having portrayed the role. Uh, what would you like those two sentences to read to sum up uh, Miss New York, uh, Claudia, the spring break uh, pageant contestant? <laughs> okay. I would say Claudia, Miss New York, came in thinking she could win, but <laughs> uh, there was no way because uh, Kelly just whipped her butt. <laughs> Kelly just whipped her butt. Uh, on that note, uh, Marie Calder, an absolute pleasure talking today to relive your memories of your time in Married with Children as uh, Spring Break uh, Season 10, uh, Part 2, Episode 20. You played the one and only Claudia from Miss... Uh, you were the one and only Miss New York. There's only been one Miss New York in the 11 uh, seasons of Married with Children. That's a title you hold unto yourself until your dying days. Uh, that, that, that title will never go away. You can have the great distinction of saying that you were Miss New York. Uh, so every time you step through New York, you can say you were the, the state's uh, spokesperson for Mary with Children. But for the moment, Marie Kildare, a pleasure talking to you, and we wish you a prosperous 2021. Absolutely, and a pleasure talking to you. And an Cheers. awesome 2021. <laughs> Cheers, Marie. Take care. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye.